Hi YouTube, it's me, the Shy Pianist, or you may know me as uh, Donald of Zephyr War Games. Uh, in this video, I'll be covering some of my um, two card OTKs that I managed to find out, and um, yeah, that's really it is. So I'm going to start off. Um, the first one that was probably m most uh, noticeable is um, you have put a uh, pudding sensor and Ma Angela. So. You start off with a special summon your pudding sessor, and she will then special summon your pudding sess. Now this is at a start off for those who don't know. Um, in my earlier plays of um, adult chase, I did try using a star changer, and the idea was you make you reduce pudding sess level by one, and so that you can use chocolate mode's effect three times. Now since pudding sessor kindly does that and special summons her out from your deck. Just like so, she basically just does my what was a four card combo into just two cards. So now you go into just normal summon your Angeli, and you don't want to link here or XYZ yet because you do want to make this start straight out first. So you tribute your Angeli, you special summon your Hoot Cake, and then you use Hoot Cake, target Angeli, and banish and special summon your Messenger Lato. Now, effect of Messenger Lato, he will add your um, Medalso Chateau. Uh, to hand, and then this is where you will link into your sister. So, sister now plays a more predominant role to uh, your combos, and then you will then overlay your pudding sess, who's now at level 4, to, to then go into your queen tiamasu, and then straight into choco ala mode. Now, Many people actually don't know who don't play Medalja is they actually know that Chocolate Mode, it's a f second effect to detach and special summon, isn't once per turn. So you use Chocolate Mode's first effect, uh, shuffle um, one Medalja pack into your deck. So, is your deck as it is. Um, shuffle back uh, Messenger Lala or Hoot Cake just to start off her effect. And by doing so, you can detach and special summon. Uh, one or the other, it really doesn't matter, but um, generally um, I would always go for Hoot Cake because you would then shuffle back in, Chocolate Mode would then detach to then special summon out Hoot Cake. Now, reason why you choose for Hoot Cake, or you can actually go for Cross Sun in this play, is that you do just want to have a beast on the field. I go for Hoot Cake so you don't have to run Cross Sun in your build, and um, it just makes plays and uh, better with or without him. Uh, Croftson. So then with your Chateau in hand, you then activate your Chateau and this will shuffle back your Tiamasu back into your deck and uh, Messenger Lato back into your deck, which will then tr trigger Chocolate Mode again. So by detaching, you then special summon out Messenger Lato. Using Messenger Lato again, you can then add, uh, what I would do is add a second Chateau from your deck to hand. And by doing so, you then activate your second chateau and then shuffle back your pudding sessor back into your deck and use chocolate mode again, detaching and special summoning out your messenger lato. Messenger lato would then add you your ticket and then you'll be allowed to just activate uh, onto the field. Then with your two messenger lados, you can overlay to make your queen Tiamasu, and then use her effect to then detach to uh, detach and then shuffle two cards your opponent controls. So usually I would uh, target your messenger lado and chateau back into your deck, which will then trigger ticket, and then ticket would then um, allow you to choose a messenger a, a Medolce, but because you control fairy, you're special summon out. Messenger lado will then grab back your chateau. And then to top it all off, um, you can then rank on top uh, Queen Jamsu of a juggler mode. So that's like the first combo, <laughs> um, first two card combo essentially, just Pudding Sessor and Anjali. And with that, you still have, um, assuming you go second, which is all the car, uh, combos will be uh, showing. Um, and assuming you don't get hand trapped hot in, in any given point, you'll have four other cards in your hand and then you grab back your Chateau, meaning you'll still have a hand of five at the end of this combo. 
So yeah, just just like that, the the deck is just so much better to be played uh, now pure um, with the new card. So the next combo, the next few combos actually involve you having Chateau in hand. So this one I will demonstrate as a uh, uh, Chateau and Angeli. And so I will now reset the board. So you start off your Angeli and she will tribute and special summon out your new printing Cess, uh, Cesso. And then she will special summon out <coughs> your printing Cess, like so. And then instantly, this will then go into your Tiamisu and then Chocolate Mode. So what you want to do here is activate Chateau, which will then shuffle back Angeli. Use Chocolate Mode's effect to then detach and special summon Hoot Cake to your side of the field. Mm. Hoot Cake will then target Queen Tiamisu, banish and special summon out Messenger Lato. Now Messenger Gelato will then activate its effect, add back your, uh, your second chateau. You activate your second chateau and then use Chocolate Mode's effect, first effect, um, this time round. Then shuffling back the chateau, you can then detach and special summon out another Messenger Gelato to your side of field. Once again, you can then add, using Messenger Gelato, add back the same chateau that you just shuffled back in and then activate it again. By doing so, you then shuffle back your uh, Pudding Sasser and then using Chocolate Mode again to then detach and special summon out your third Messenger Lato. Then with your third Messenger Lato, you can add your uh, ticket and then activate it. Then from here on, it's basically a simple case of you can just link your Hoot Cake and um, Chocolate Mode, make your Sis Tart, overlay into your um, second Queen Tiamisu, use her effect, detach, target up to two, so in this case I would go for Chateau and Messenger Lato because your Messenger Lato is all out, and then shuffle back in and use Ticket's effect. This time you can go for an Angeli just so you can add it to your hand when you go into your third Tiamisu and then detach and shuffle two more back in. So, I mean, you can either go with Angeli, you can actually even go with Predecessor. This being that you choose whichever you want to have in hand. Uh, I guess in most cases and when the end result is going to be, it's best to go with Predecessor because you can then shuffle to um, your chocolate mode. And then you go rank on top on your chocolate modes and shuffle the t uh, add back to the two remaining cards in your graveyard back to hand. Thus leaving you still 8,000 and then if your next turn, you know, you can, I mean, you can still go off um, with putting Sessa if need be the next turn, um, you know, if they stay on the bit, on the for, on the board, and uh, etc. like so. So, yep, yeah, so that's just Anjali and uh, Chateau. So, next. As mentioned, uh, this time we'll have Chateau and Magdalene to hand. So this is probably going to be relatively similar, but with these two cards in hand, you normal summon your Magdalene and effect to search your new card putting So she will then special summon out herself, and in this case. <coughs> She was supposed to summon out Anjali uh, for this point uh, for this uh, time round. Now, reason being is that you actually want to go into um, actually I'm, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, you want to go into Anjali f um, first because if if you went into Pudding Cess, there's nothing to then shuffle back in. So then you use Anjali's effect to then get out your Hoot Cake. And then Hoot Cake will then banish the special sign of Messenger Lado. Now with that, um, effectively, you know, you grab your ticket from your deck to hand. And if you were to play on so 38 uh, uh, B-Sylph uh, 79, 
this is where you can then link into your sysTAR uh, let's, let's see. Oh, all right, so you can play your shadow first, link into your sysTAR make into Queen Chiamsu I'm, sure I'm pretty sure I had this somehow um, play a ticket Actually, no, that doesn't make really us. <laughs> and then use Queen Jamasu, shuffle two, and then special summon one out. Uh, your pudding sass. And rank on top, you add this back into your deck. So that still be, I mean, that's seven free. Uh, must have misplayed somewhere. Um, apologies for that. But yeah, still, even with just that, you can still shuffle two with uh, Magdalene. Um, so wait, Magdalene summons, let me just grasp this back, uh, usually it ends with that, uh, let's see, let's try to figure out how I did this, so I go 1, 2, link, special summon, activate, activate shadow, shuffles back in, detaches, I mean that would be 2k, 2k, 2 free, effectively, 2 free, 2k, 6 free, plus 19, so that is 82, so in a way that is, um, you know, oh yeah, that's what I remembered. This, the the, the Magdalene um, Shadow combo generally is like your sort of the worst of the two. It doesn't provide any shuffles, but it does produce you um, 8,000 damage onto the board. I mean, yeah, um, I think even with just 2 one that's 4k, that's 8k there, and then being able to search with Mission Gelato is all, all there. And then if need be, you know, main two, you can just overlay afterwards. But yeah, like the Magdalene um, Shadow combo is sort of like a really bare bones way of just to deal out 8,000 damage. And, so, and the last um, um, two card OTK I would like to show you is the good old faithful Mewfew and Angeli combo. So before Master uh, Rolf hit, Mewfew and Angeli was our bread and butter combo to get out your Levia, finish on your Levia, and finish on your Tiamasu. Whilst adding back your Mifu and Jelly back to hand and with Chateau on the field. And essentially doing 4-8 damage. Now with the new um, Dolce card, it goes a little bit something like this. So you move your special summons and Jelly, and this is where the fun starts. So I, I did a previous, this is a long while ago, but I had a 4 card OTK which basically um, you used in my pure medal chase, uh, Magdalene, Double Summon, Mufi and Jelly, oh no, Mufi or Angeli and Star Changer. And the whole goal was you summon now and make your uh, Pudding Sass level 4 with Star Changer and then use Chocolate Mode 3 times. Now that 4 card OTK has now, or combo has now been reduced to a 2 card because rather than searching uh, for Pudding Sass uh, actually searching for what you need um, and summoning out Pudding Sass, Star Changer has also been removed. So with Pudding Sass up you then special summon out your Pudding Sass which is now level 4 and then you just overlay. Go to Tiamatsu, go to Chocolate Mode. So Chocolate Mode, um, effect to target Anjali, shuffles back in. You then detach Pudding Sassur, then special summons out Messenger Gelado. Messenger Gelado will then grab you your Chateau. And on activation of Chateau, you then um, shuffle back in and then detach to special summon. This is where you do want to go into Hoot Cake this time, and then use Hoot Cake to target Queen Tiamatsu, banish and special summon. So with that, let's press out message a lot again and then use his effect. You want to grab your ticket and activate it to side field. 
Now we're actually going to waste the one extra material, so um, we're going to actually link off for SysTart. Um, if I remember correctly, yep. And then you overlay into your Queen Tiamma suit, and then use Queen Tiamma suit effect, detach, target Mufu and Messenger Lalo, bounce them back to your hand, trigger ticket. Special summon out Messenger Lalo, and with his effect, add a Chateau to hand. And then rank to finish things off, rank on top, and then shuffle back in your chocolate mode. So with that, you have 3k, 2k, 5k, 7k, and then 9 1 in total. With essentially 3 cards back into your hand, with your additional 4, um, and a, a target to shuffle with Sistar. So what essentially was our bread and butter combo is now an ODK combo, which is quite amazing. Now you may actually notice by now that all these combos that I've just shown does not rely on the, I guess, the, um, in, I guess I would say good old pal the Brin Fusion combo. Now, while well, it does provide a OTK with Magellene, it also provides bricks as well. But so, as I digress, I've actually managed to have a look into using Brain Fusion, and I've managed to find this. Now, the greatest thing with the new Pudding Sassur is that you can special summon everything else that isn't the Dolce before using her effect, and you can still reap every benefit that she gives. Now this also will show a triple pudding cess play um, exclusively, in which um, I will now demonstrate. Admittedly, it's a three card combo. Admit, but these two would OTK by themselves anyway. Uh, so we will um, add in the throwing pudding sets, and uh, this will be the play. So you start off with. Your Brin Fusion, sending your Garnet and your Trick Clown, and special summoning out your Trick Clown taking 1000. You then extra normal summon Magellene, and then use her effect to then add Hoot Cake to your hand. Then you normal summon, well, there's your additional normal summon, normal summon for the turn Hoot Cake, and use his effect to then target Garnet and banish him. To then special summon out Angeli. Next, you can link up four for Sereja and then use his effect to draw four and then put three cards belt to the bottom of your deck. So, whilst you've got like what three other cards, you then draw four and then you know put three back in, and you just need a pudding sass. So you know, you might draw the pudding first because I play free in the deck, um, and then you know you just put them back into the, the bottom of the deck. So as long as you have pudding first, you know you're you're good to go. Then with Skull Dread, we special summon out pudding first via her, uh, its effect. Then with Angeli, um, you tribute special summon out your pudding sir And then with pudding sir you special summon out your second pudding sass which is now level 4 you then overlay and make your first queen charm suit and then chocolate on the mode then with chocolate mode's effect you then shuffle back in um, your angeli and then detach charm suit then then special summon out your third pudding sass and with that you overlay your two pending sasses to make your second chocolate mode, and then chocolate mode we use second chocolate mode, you will then shuffle back in hoot cake or Magellene. This will then trigger both of them, allowing you to both detach and special summon out uh, hoot cake first, and then messenger lado, and then which will allow messenger lado to then add chateau to hand, and then activate chateau. This will shuffle all your modolches back in like so, and then you want to use just one chocolate uh, modes effect. So you then special summon your messenger lado and he will then grab your ticket. 
you activate your ticket and then you can then overlay into Queen Tiamasu. Use Queen Tiamasu to then bounce to. Uh, make sure to shuffle one back into the deck or Messenger Lado back into the deck, allowing you to chocolate mode again to then special summon your Messenger Lado and then his effect will grab you another chateau or ticket. Um, and then to finish things off, you go into your third chocolate mode, use this effect to then bounce back to hand, and then proceed to battle phase. These will have gained an extra 300 attack each, so that's um, so that's 3,300 times three, uh, plus the 2,800, plus the 2,100, and to finish it all off, 2,000 on top, giving you 16,800 damage. So. This will be it where I end the video, um, so thank you for watching, hope you liked it, um, and as always guys, happy dawning! What's up YouTube, thanks for watching that video, I hope you liked it, if you did, hit that like button, and of course don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh videos coming up for you all year round, so don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always guys, happy dawning!